Coming up on this week's Scroll TV News, one church program reaches a great milestone. We'll show you what it was and some of the achievements they have reached along the way. And we'll show you an exciting addition that will be coming soon to the Rexburg community. All this and more, Scroll TV News starts now. <laughs> The BYU-Idaho Pathway Program celebrated its five-year anniversary this week. The program extends its reach around the world to provide schooling for those who are not able to attend the Rexburg campus. Pathway is available in cities across the U.S. and select international locations. I think it's a wonderful way to get your education. Not only is the entire program Pathway and the BYU-Idaho online program wonderful, um, the teachers are amazing. Education can do nothing but just, you know, improve you, you know, as a person. And at BYU, you're not only um, getting a secular education, but also a, um, a spiritual education. If you or someone you know is interested in joining the Pathway program, visit pathway.lds.org to receive more information. This past spring, several student housing areas were flooded and damaged. The North Point Amenity Center construction was put on hold as they diverted several subcontractors to water cleanup and to help repair neighboring apartments. But soon, residents will have access to the Amenity Center, which will include several lounge areas, two theaters, a reception hall, food court, and gym free of charge. The food court and gym will also be available for community use. What I'm most excited for with the North Point Amenities Building is the fitness program. They are building a super nice facility for us as residents and the best part is we get it for free. So the fact that we can still do what we love and stay active without having to pay for it makes it that much better. North Point will soon have an official press release to announce what restaurants will be available in their food court and the official date for the grand opening of their amenity center. Last Saturday, local women ages 8 and up attended the second semi-annual General Women's Meeting broadcast in the BYU-Idaho Center. The meeting is conducted by the General Presidencies of the Relief Society, Young Women, and Primary Organizations. The General Women's Meeting replaced the annual Relief Society meeting and Young Women's Meeting in an effort to bring the sisters of the church together and become strengthened and blessed. It makes me feel really great about the church's viewpoint on women and it really shows that we know how important women are in this gospel and that they can really make a difference. The general women's meeting session is now available to watch on LDS.org. You can also watch the 184th semi-annual general conference being held this weekend. Coming up, we've got the inside look of a well-known ventriloquist that came to perform on campus, as well as a workshop that teaches students how to juggle more things than just school and work. That's after the break. Last Thursday, the American Piano Quartet visited BYU-Idaho for a one-night concert. The quartet, featuring four pianists, are currently celebrating their 30th anniversary with a concert throughout Utah and Idaho. Formed in 1984, the quartet is dedicated to performing original works, transcriptions, and arrangements for the combination of two eight-hand pianos. The night was full of pieces from well-known musicians such as Goon Nu, Bach, and even Mac Wilberg of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. We've been able to play in South America and all over Europe and Asia, all across the United States. Um, it, it brings great joy and at our concerts people are smiling, they're having a great time. When people are leaving and they're laughing and smiling, uh, I feel like we've done a great job. <laughs> if you are interested in buying their CD, you can find it on the BYU Bookstore website. You can also find the full story of this event on our website. 
Students are no strangers when it comes to juggling school, work, and often roommates. Student activities would like to help to st uh, students learn how to juggle better. The, group's I, the group I juggle has been on campus a few semesters and has attracted many students of all skill levels to its workshops. I juggle plans to have a show this year sometime in December. I've been juggling since my freshman year in high school, so probably about six years now. And I, I just, I really enjoy it. It's something that, I don't know, relieves, relieves stress and it's just, it's fun. If I'm like stressed out about schoolwork or anything else, I mean, that's what I turn If any to students it. consider themselves a juggling expert or just want to learn how to juggle, everyone is welcome. I juggle meets in room 232 in the Kirkham building every Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m. For the full story, you can visit our website and click on the story link. Students and Rexburg locals attended the Kirkham Auditorium this past weekend to enjoy the comedic performance of ventriloquist Lynn Trefsker. She has won many awards, including Comedy Entertainer of the Year, with a full feature documentary titled I'm No Dummy. And with over 30 years of performing experience, she tells us how she got her start. I had no choice. How did you get into it? Me, um, I got my first dummy for Christmas when I was nine, because I asked for one. And I started doing shows at the age of 10. So it's um, something that I kind of picked up, and my parents thought I'd grow out of it. <laughs> <sighs> no, still plays with dolls. Yeah. For more information on Lynn and other performances, you can check out her website at www.lynnt.com. Up next, we'll show you one of the new outdoor activities that may provide the adrenaline rush you've been looking for, plus an inside look at some of the recent sports tournaments. That's coming up after the break. Understand the importance of getting the most out of what you've got, and that sometimes the things that you want aren't really what you want. Because I know that every donation goes a long way. Donate to help your community. Visit unitedwayidaho.org today. Students looking for a way to relieve stress from their schoolwork took to the paintball range this past weekend. Outdoor Activities hosted the event with more than 40 students in attendance. And despite the crazy weather, the activity went on and students were able to enjoy a fun-filled afternoon of paintball. Rain is so much fun. You don't have to worry about being quiet so much. Nobody can hear anything. You just, you just stay low, keep moving. The only downside is you, your mask fogs up so bad you can't see a thing. And, but you know nobody else can either. To learn about other activities that you can participate in with the Outdoor Activities group, visit the activities page at BYUI.edu. You can also view the full story of this event on our website. Last week, BYU Idaho's men's volleyball players and coaches got together to start off their five-week season. A tournament was held to allow players and coaches to get to know each other and prepare for the upcoming season. Over 75 players tried out, each hoping to get a spot on a team. At the end of the tryout, 60 players were drafted to six separate teams. This is where the players are going to meet their, like meet their coaches, meet who their teammates are and everything like that. The tournament is basically like a kickoff, like a preseason tournament. If students are interested in attending games or would like to try out in future semesters, please visit the BYU Idaho activities page. Now, this past Saturday, the semester's first sports tournament was held in the Eye Center. A small group of students participated in a tennis tournament that featured both singles and doubles matches. The tournament was put on by the competitive sports program, which attracted many players, both new and experienced. Tennis, it's really relaxing to me, and I play singles, and so it's very just dependent on me. I don't depend on anyone else, and so when I mess up, it's my fault. When I do something good, it's my good doing, and so it's just, it's a lifetime sport. You only need one other person to play, so that's why I like it, too. If you would like to get involved in the various tournaments this semester, you can visit imleagues.com to check out the full detailed look on this story. You can visit our website and click on the story link. Well, that's going to do it for this week's Girl TV News. Be sure to visit our website for even more articles and videos, including the ones mentioned in this broadcast. And follow at BYUI Scroll on your favorite social media site. Have a great week.